welcome to this week's episode of Coast News. And as always, got some amazing news from different theme parks, rides, attractions and events all over the world. So let's get straight into the news today. Our top story for tonight, the world's first SNS Axis coaster is going to be built at a brand new, currently unnamed indoor theme park in Saudi Arabia. And I'm so, so glad that we are finally going to get a real Axis coaster besides the Obviously, besides the prototype at SNS Factory in Utah. Um, but if you don't know what I'm on about, basically, an Axis coaster is a brand new ride type introduced by SNS Worldwide back in 2019. Um, and the ride type itself it is literally a roller coaster that has trains that has, and on the trains, each seat can spin 360 degrees. Uh, I think it's all like based on weight, so it's not like a controlled spin, it's all free spinning. And it can spin upside down through loads of different elements and it just just cr basically creates an entire new dimension um, of an experience. And it looks so unique. They built a prototype along with the announcement in their factory um, and gave obviously a select few people exclusive rides on it. And it is, according to their reactions, it is unlike anything else in the world. Um, and then obviously people start speculating, where's the first one going to go? When's it going to get built? And obviously years passed and not really much happened. Um, although recently, at the IAPA Expo in Orlando, um, SNS obviously took to the, the floor to basically announce a brand new SNS Axis coaster going to a um, unnamed indoor theme park in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, which is the capital, um, themed to Transformers. It, and the layout honestly looks really interesting. Um, it looks really cool. Obviously, it is the first Axis coaster, so it's not going to be like the hugest thing in the world. Um, obviously, it's going to contain one launch. It's going to have two inversions. But the, and the unique thing about this is it's going to it's going to have two laps to it. You'll experience the ride twice. So that's really cool. And honestly, it looks such like a fun layout. Obviously, not the longest in the world because, like I said, it is only the first Axis coaster ever. So it's not going to be like insanely long or fast or anything like that. It's only 35 miles per hour anyway. Um, but it's going to feature two inversions, a combined total of two inversions and four launches. Oh, no, 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 sorry, right, no. Four, four inversions and two launches. I got them confused. Because um, obviously it goes around the layout twice and it looks really cool. Now, I don't know when this is opening yet. Um, I don't think they've announced it. It's going to open within the next few years, but I personally thought like, I don't know, something like Alton Towers should have gotten the first Axis coaster. Mind you, we don't know. Project Horizon, that's opening in 2025. That could be an Axis coaster. We don't know. But either way, I'm glad that SNS are building their first Axis coast in Saudi Arabia, and I cannot wait for it to open. In other news today, also to do with Saudi Arabia, um, Intamin have revealed brand new details, stats, and the trains for Falcon's flights at Six Flags Kadir. And I'm, I'm pretty much confident now that Falcon's flight is going to be happening. Obviously, I know it went vertical a few months back, but like I'm very even more confident now that it's definitely going to be opening within the next few years. Um, we don't know when it's going to open yet, but it, it's promising what what it's going to introduce. But if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically. Falcon's Flight is a brand new roller coaster, which obviously the ride type has actually just been named the way it is. It's not like a mega coaster thing, it's a brand new ride type from Intamin called an Exa coaster. Um, we don't know what that can mean, but that's hinting they could possibly build more than one of these, which just sounds insane. Um, but obviously, it's, it's literally, it's, it's another, I think it's another type of like ride that holds a massive height record, to be honest. It's like a hyper coaster go is the one between 200 and 299 feet. Giga coaster between 300 and 399 feet, Strata coaster 400, between 400 and 499 feet, whereas the Exa coaster is much bigger than that. Um, obviously, Falcon's Flight is going to be opening as part of a brand new theme park called Six Flags Kadir, which is also in Riyadh, in the same city as the Transformers Axis coaster. Um, and upon opening, Falcon's Flight is going to be the world's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster. Um, and they revealed the stats at IAPA Expo. A lot of stuff happened at IAPA this year. Um, and obviously they confirmed that the ride's maximum height, the gigantic Camelback Hill, is going to be, I think, 524 foot tall, which is huge. Um, and the ride's maximum height, which is going to be at the top of that huge hill, is going to be 640 feet, which is honestly just like mental to think honestly i think it's like 
180 foot taller, uh, taller than King Nakar, which is the current tallest in the world. And it's also going to be 156 miles an hour, so it's going to be 7 miles per hour faster than Formula Rosa. And it's going to be, I think, 14,000 feet long, which is so long. I think it's like 6,000 feet longer than Steel Dragon 2000 at Nagashima Spa Line, which is the current longest. Um, and obviously they revealed the brand new trains for this ride, and it's got some unique features, including like wider like spacing for the seats, much bigger wheels, because it's going to be a big ride. Um, the train looks awesome, it looks so cool, very, uh, very colourful train. Um, and we don't know when it's going to be opening yet, some people have said maybe 2025. Um, I don't see what the likelihood of that is, because it, I know it's gone vertical, but the whole park as a whole could take a lot longer to build, so maybe like 2026 or seven. Who knows? But either way, I'm so glad that Falcon's Fly is happening and that in the next few years we're going to be seeing the brand new world's tallest, fastest and longest roller coaster. Also in the news today, and back here in the UK, for some news here, Fort Park have introduced the brand new land which is going to be a re-theme of Angry Birds Land. It's going to be called Big Easy Boulevard. And this obviously was a really cool announcement, I think. Um, it's going to be really good for Fort Park um, in terms of like the direction they're going. Um, but if they're not talking about basically a big easy boulevard is a brand new themed land opening at Fort Park next year alongside Hyperia, their brand new roller coaster, um, which I've talked about a lot in these coast news videos lately, because um, it's, it's just gone mental. Um, but obviously this brand new land is going to be a re-theme of the previous Angry Birds land, which originally opened in 2014. Um, it closed permanently on the 31st of October this year, as its final day to be reimagined into a brand new, equally vibrant land. Um, and obviously the announcement that came out, I think, the other day, it does honestly look really cool. Something very different themed, actually, for a theme park land. Um, obviously it's called Big Easy Boulevard. It's going to be, I think it's sort of like a New Orleans-style sort of theme, which is honestly going to fit perfectly with Mardi Gras next season. Obviously we know that Angry Birds Land before was the sort of main central area for Mardi Gras this season and last season when it first started. But now that whole area is getting things like a New Orleans sort of street vibe, like land, that's going to fit even better. Obviously all the rides that are currently in Angry Birds Land are going to remain there, but they're going to get re-themed. Detonator is going to keep the name Detonator, obviously, but it's going to theme to like fireworks and stuff, which already looks so cool. Um, they're going to re-theme the Dodgems, obviously, and they are like reimagining the 4D cinema to theme it's like a vintage style cinema which honestly just looks so cool and honestly the level of theming that it looks like they're going to add it looks so really promising to be honest um obviously Angry Birds Land just, um it, it wasn't the most popular themed land at Fort Park it, uh, I don't even think it was when it first opened back in 2014 because obviously back then Angry Birds was extremely popular um it was a cultural phenomenon, but obviously as the years went on it sort of declined in popularity and um, even though it's very nostalgic for some, for others it just felt like very outdated. Um, obviously I felt the whole land just kind of felt outdated and just sort of there. So I'm so glad they're actually doing something with it and giving it a new lease of life. Um, and I'm, I'm really, I kind of wait to see what this whole area looks like, it's going to be really vibrant and I'm look, so looking forward to how they're going to incorporate this area into Mardi Gras. It just fits perfectly with the whole theme. Um, and I'm, I really cannot wait to see how it is. For, next year is so not to be one of the best seasons for Four Park. With Hyperia and now Big Easy Boulevard, it's going to be absolutely amazing at Four Park next season. And finally in the news today, the trains for Top Thrill 2 have been revealed publicly at IAPA Expo. And honestly, I really love the, the train design on Top Thrill 2, it looks so cool, it look, look, honestly just stands out like so much. But if you know what I'm talking about, basically Top Thrill 2 is not a brand new roller coaster, but it's a reimagining of the previous Top Thrill Dragster, which originally opened in 2003 at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, USA. Um, upon opening it, it was the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster. With a maximum speed of 120 miles an hour and a maximum height of 420 feet. Um, obviously it was an intermittent accelerator coaster. Um, obviously since it's opening it has been an absolute maintenance nightmare. Um, even like the 
Park CEO at the time and say it's like one of the dumbest decisions they ever made because of how like how many problems it had with like the mechanical side of it. So even though it's a really popular ride, in terms of operations, it was terrible. Um, and obviously in 2021, there was a tragic incident on the ride, um, which pretty much just put, was the final nail in the coffin for t Dragster, Topfield Dragster. But didn't want to remove the ride because it's really, really popular. It's such an iconic attraction at Cedar Point. So what they did, they decided to give the ride an upgrade, give it a makeover. Obviously, fix all the safety features on it so it's much more reliable. But that meant they had to change the hydraulic launch to an LSM launch. But because LSM launches are nowhere near as powerful as hydraulic launches, even though they're more efficient, they're not as powerful. That would meant they would have to turn that one single launch into a multi-pass launch. And the way they did that, they're going to extend the ride's layout by giving it a gigantic backwards vertical spike, which is going to be 420 foot tall, same height as the top hat. Um, and it's going to have three launches now. The first one, I believe, like 74 miles an hour. It's going to go backwards into a 100 miles per hour launch, up the backwards vertical spike. The brand new one is actually being built by Zamperla, strangely, not like not Intamin, Zamperla. And it's going to go through the third and final launch up to the maximum speed of 120 miles an hour over the top half through the rest of the layout. And it's a really innovative um, idea extending the track layout and re-theming it, obviously giving it a new style, a new name, Top Thrill 2, almost like as if it's a sequel to itself, um, which is obviously really cool. And the other day at IAPA Expo, they revealed the brand new trains from it from Zampilla, and the trains look gorgeous, honestly. Um, the trains look so cool. They honestly look really like race cars, which is, I guess, the idea because it's been to racing. Um, and I cannot wait for Top Thrill 2 to open at Cedar Point next season. So that is it for this week's episode of Coast News. I hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, then please mention us like, subscribe, and comment what you would like to see in the next video. Bye!